Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a look today using the Vault 2 palette by Jaclyn Hill. I've had this palette since it launched on the 13th, but you know, I kind of procrastinate sometimes, but it's okay. So let's just jump right on in, shall we? I think I'm going to use the purples. I'm kind of feeling these looks like they're so gorgeous she really did her shit with this palette like yes Jacqueline I already have my face pre-done because I want this to solely be about the eyeshadows only so I think I'm going to start with this dark purple first now I'm gonna start at the corner of my eye I have really hooded eyes, so sometimes it's kind of hard to make my eyeshadow pop, but you know, you find ways around it, and you want to tap, 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 tap. You don't really want to drag it and go back and forth because that's how colors break and you have patches. I'm sure you guys know purples are really hard to work with. Sometimes they have a lot of fallout, it's hard to blend, they pat, they're they patchy, and I didn't need to put multiple layers on. This is literally like one layer and a half. <laughs> Now I'm gonna take my tiny crease brush, it's from Morphe M562, and I'm gonna go into this light purple. And I'm going to apply this right above the dark purple, right under your eyebrow. But you don't wanna go too, too high that it's touching your eyebrow. You wanna keep it right on it. guys can see right where I put the light purples you're gonna put it right underneath it but you don't want to go so high that it's touching your eyebrow you want to leave space in between Now I'm gonna go back in with that same blending brush and deepen the dark purple. I wanna go over it a few times just to make that color pop. I'm sure you guys know purples are really hard to work with. Sometimes they have a lot of fallout, it's hard to blend, they pat, they're patchy. Now I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer and we're going to cut the crease with that. I always like to put my makeup on the back of my hand. That way I know how much I'm working with and I'm not using more than I need. And you wanna dab. And I use a flat brush, a flat round brush to cut my crease. And you wanna make sure you can get it as flat as possible because that will really help you with your lines. This is how your cut crease will come out. If you have hooded eyes like me, you always want to go above the crease in your eye so you can make your, cr your cut crease viewable and you just want to pat 
ada di Love it. Oh, yeah, there is some fallout. Some fallout on this one. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, there's fallout. Yeah, there's some serious fallout in this palette. Um, yeah. Can you guys hear my little rosie? She's like a little chihuahua and she likes to fight big dogs. For what reason, I don't know. Now I'm gonna take my heavy metal liner from Urban Decay and I'm going to go around the part where I didn't put eyeshadow on. And you never want it to go above the line, only under. Next I'm gonna go in with J. La Rue for the inner corners. It's white gold. To this color, my man, this orange color, it's so pretty. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna use this for my lower lash line. I'm gonna use a pointed brush. Now I'm gonna go back in with my tiny crease brush. I'll go back in with the dark purple to go under my when I mixed the two colors it did kind of give me a little missing patches of color I'm gonna go back in and blend it with a different brush now I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner from Beauty Bakery. I'm going to start at the end. Always. I always get to water in. Now I'm going to go in with my Tarte mascara just to go under my eye. This is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had a really good time recording it. I love colors. The palette is just my everyday go-to palette. It's just amazing. I love the palette. But don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and I'm going to upload more videos for you guys. Thanks. Bye.